Welcome to Psalm Bites, your daily devotional where we will read and pray through the entire book of Psalms in bite-sized portions. Let's begin with two short prayers inspired by Psalm 119.18 in James 1.22. God, open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your word, and help me to be not just a hearer of the word, but a doer. Today we will be reading Psalm 73, verses 1 through 24 in the New King James Version. A Psalm of Asaph Truly God is good to Israel, to such as are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped. For I was envious of the boastful when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no pangs in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, nor are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride serves as their necklace, violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes bulge with abundance, they have more than heart could wish. They scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression, they speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walks through the earth. Therefore his people return here, and waters of a full cup are drained by them. And they say, How does God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly, who are always at ease. They increase in riches. Surely I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocence. For all day long I have been plagued, and chastened every morning. If I had said, I will speak thus, Behold, I would have been untrue to the generation of your children. When I thought of how to understand this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood their end. Surely you set them in slippery places. You cast them down to destruction. Oh, how they are brought to desolation as in a moment. They are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awakes... So, Lord, when you awake, you shall despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was vexed in my mind. I was so foolish and ignorant, I was like a beast before you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold me by my right hand. You will guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. I'm going to highlight verse 15 and verse 24. If I had said, I will speak thus, behold, I would have been untrue to the generation of your children. You will guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Let's pray. God, we ask that you would preserve us from the deceitfulness of riches and from the love of money which is the root of all kinds of evil. Let us follow the instructions in Psalm 62 verse 10, If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. And may we store up treasures in heaven, for where our treasure is, there our heart will be also. And may we enter your sanctuary and see from your perspective that the end of those who prosper in wickedness is destruction. But for those who allow you to shepherd them through this brief life, you will guide us with your counsel and afterward receive us to glory. We will live for your glorious inheritance that will never perish nor fade. We will build your kingdom rather than our own, and we will resist the envy that would seek to stop us from following you wholeheartedly, knowing that if we give in to it, we would be untrue to the generation of your children, untrue to those whom you have called us to love with your love and lead to you. And even as we pray these prayers, Lord, would you give us contentment in all circumstances? Would you fulfill us and satisfy us with the joy of your presence? that we may delight in you, that we may drink from your fountain of life and desire no other. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.